Here in Smithfield, Rhode Island, locals fill the beef barn to the rafters. This casual eatery has a big menu and a fun layout. There's a chicken coop, an old silo. The original silo from your family's original barn in North Smithfield, right? So we're going back to what, the 1920s? 1920s, yeah. Yep. Right? It's over 100 years old. But none of this is what makes the beef barn beloved in these parts. People flock here for the deal on the roast beef sandwiches, says owner Mark Branchow. You know, you have to keep your prices low and, uh, and, and work hard. Just how low? The roast beef is 475. It's four ounces of roast beef on a toasted roll. You can get doubles, you can get triples if you want. I think they reckon 17 sandwiches. One guy ate 17 sandwiches. May he, may he rest in peace. <laughs> yeah. Keep the price at 475 for a roast beef sandwich. People are shocked by that. Nobody would be surprised if you jumped it up to what, 675, 875. We sell a lot. We sell a lot of volume. A lot of out of towners will say, oh, you know, how come it's so cheap? I go, I can put a surcharge on your check if you, it makes you feel more comfortable. That's what I always say to them. <laughs> Some devoted beef barners eat here two or three times a week. Robert Lavallee is one of them. Everything's good here. The steaks are good, the roast beef, the hamburgers. I mean, you can't beat this place. I come with my girl and my grandson, and you leave here with like $22, $23. It's unbelievable. It's good. Well worth the money. An affordable roast beef sandwich wasn't Branchell's idea. It was his dad's back in the 1960s. My father got the idea, he did a lot of construction, so he would drive on Route 9 in Shrewsbury, and there was a guy with a trailer, and he would just sell roast beef sandwich. That's all he sold. And that's where he got the idea for this establishment. The beef barn became a family affair, and still is. Mark's sister, Michelle, is co-owner. They have a second location in Bellingham. I have employees that work me for 40 years. They work hard, they work very hard. All so the rest of us can scarf down lunch for less than five bucks. So Mark, this is this is the basic. This is the signature sandwich. The 475. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. <laughs> We've been doing it this way for 53 years now. That's what we do. Another restaurant offers not one, but four dishes for a total of $9 on its children's menu, that is. We've been doing it probably about six years now. Over the six years that we've done this in all our concepts, we've only taken a price increase once. Sean McDonald is director of operations for the Boston-based Cronin Group, which owns Temescal Tequila Cantina. This upscale Mexican restaurant has five locations in the area, including here at Legacy Place in Dedham. Here is the fish and chips. You are so welcome. Moms and dads stay at home all the time with their kids and they're cooking all the time. You know, we want them to come out and be able to have a great meal and cooked in-house to order. This classic menu is reserved for diners age 12 and under. I like chicken fingers. Note to parents, you can add greens to the dishes, says McDonald. A lot of our ingredients are sourced locally. I'd say somewhere between 10% of our weekend sales are uh, attributed to children's. Restaurants all across the country now are, are combating prices. We're trying to keep our price, you know, the $9 price. We're, we're gonna keep it as long as we can. We, we don't want to raise that because, you know, it, it does a disservice to families coming in that can't afford um, to bring their two, three children in. And the verdict? These food critics are plain spoken. Very, very tasty. The chicken. Mm. I also like the caramel on the apples. My favorite thing here is well, mostly the food because it's really good. Oh, that is thumbs up. Back to the beef barn in Rhode Island. The restaurant sits on 18 acres. Mark Branchow says that during the summertime, the beef barn hosts huge car shows and all kinds of private events there. Mark says in addition to the roast beef, the pastrami and steak sandwiches are the most popular. Coming up, a little shopping with a side of history.